Can somebody tell me what you were watching? Was that man supposed to be me? That's all we have for you tonight. I'm Winston Blunt, and I'm really hard right here, right now. Let's go live outside police headquarters. While the whereabouts of Astrid Sloan what is she doing? Still we have no idea. The disappearance has caused some wild speculation throughout our community about who may or may not be involved. And I wanted to provide as much information as I can in regard to who is and who isn't an active person of interest at this time. Peyton Hobart was brought in for questioning and held for several hours, but Alice Charles has passed a polygraph test confirming Peyton's whereabouts during the night in question. Ma'am, you're under arrest for vandalism. Wait, why? Do not screw with Artie's Mustang. Suck it, Artie. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Okay. Just hold on, sweetheart. Any units clear to handle hot prowl in progress? 23 Kennard Street. Yeah, the lone hiding code three. Seven, Adam 13. Uh, show us handling code three and Washington and Bank. Officers are on their way, sweetheart, okay? 7 Adam 13, what's your ETA? 8 to 10. Fire! Big fire! Big fire! Jackson, Salazar, the beat. Shorty. Yeah, you are. Where you been? You're supposed to be here yesterday. I'm almost out. I know. I know. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Disneyland, USA. The bombs rain down and I laugh like a crazy clown at the Bozo Circus. B-52 electric chair, heart attack, maggot stinking, rotten, putrefying death. Mourn. Yeah. Cool daddy. Now that is the worst comic I've ever heard. Mourn. Light. Where are we, Smitty? See that sign? Salem. Nah. You're home, Jack. There it is. You're home. That's right. That's uh, University Hospital right there. Up ahead here's the parkway. And uh, right over there's the park. Is it okay if I drop you here? Yeah, I, I can I can walk from here. It's right around the corner. I'll tell you something, I'm never gonna forget you. Because you're the guy who brought me home. Alright, bud. <laughs> This is my office. <laughs> Herschel, turn that off!